Hello. Well, I'm Scrapyard Mark, and welcome to me Shed on Wheels. Right, now this is me Shed on Wheels. It's my 1923 Bonford and Evershed roller contractor's living van. I've not, not been up here for a while because of the Covid and that, but uh, there she be. She goes behind the old steam roller and that's what the contractors would have lived in. So let's take you inside. Let's go and have a look. I should really put on my best Boltonian accent for this really, but so we got cupboards, cooker, you wouldn't have had that in the old days. And what you would have had, and what I always use anyway, is that. So there's your wood burner, a little wood burning stove. All mod cons, look, we've got 6 volt, uh, 6 volt, 12 volt lighting in here. But yeah, this was rebuilt years ago, the guy I bought it from. It was out in Ireland, I do believe, and kids set fire to it and burnt all this out. Top was all burnt out, so but yeah. Under there, you got kitchen sink. There's a view out my window. I've just been sweeping it all out because where they sit up, you tend to get bugs in them. You know, you've got to watch out for like wasps or anything getting in. So I've just swept all the all the dead creatures out. But yeah, that's the drawbar itch. Goes on the front. Drag her along. So. Yeah. The view from the living van. What a lovely view that is. Nice up here, look. Nice and peaceful. Nice old engines in here. That's a fielding and plat. That's a Bristol wagon and carriage works Victoria engine. Not been here for a while. Freshly restored Wallace and Stevens advanced steamroller. That's an Aveling and Porter tandem roller. The old Marshall roller in the background. Listen to the birds singing. Lovely and peaceful. It's a bomb tug. Used to use it for um, moving our uh, munitions years ago. Have a nice old living van. Found a parking space for witches. Wooden jib crane that. Ah, it was done in the old days. These blokes now with all their diesel powered stuff. Don't know they're born, do they? Saw sharpener, look. In the days before you threw your saw away, and just went and bought a new one, one of them old R points, you had a saw sharpener. And this one here, run by a Lister D engine that it's got to be something said for the old ways, isn't there? Modern world, 
Don't do nothing for me. Look at that. Beautiful. All that machinery just to sharpen your saw. The old treadle laver. That was proper manpower in them days. Proper manpower. Make your scrap blokes eyes water. Bit of old England. Craftsmanship. Proper craftsmanship. Beautiful lead planter. This is the old wood soaring area. If you ever get a chance to come up here, come and have a look around when they open again after all the COVID. But yeah. These are the old track dollies for moving the timber around on. There's a rack saw. All sheeted up, but I mean, I've been up here, we've used this. We've put a steam engine down on that bottom end of it there. And load her up, put a log on there. Plank them up. This is the way it always used to be done. Nice to see it's got a nice roof over it now. Pole trailer. Bit of old England, eh? Saw bench. That one we used to run up under theirs and I think it's a, a Hawker Sidley, Armstrong Sidley engine under there. Yeah. But listen how peaceful. If I shut up for five minutes. Just take you over here for a little look. That there is the old uh, the Smith and Rodley steam crane. What a beast! I've driven that. I've actually driven that jib up and down and slew and picking up trunks like that. No problem at all. All with a power of steam. Just hot water. That's all it is. Water and fire. Yeah, the Smith and Rodley. It's nice to actually get up here for and make you a little video. Something different for you from scrap. It's just not stuff I'm just smashing up all the time. Another CS, Lister CS diesel. They got that in here. They've recently restored this. It's a uh, It's like a rail saw. You put the you got the tracks there, look. Don't fall down the hole, we'll be right. And you put your log on the on the carriage and it rolls through there and the saw blade is like crosswise and it saws them off into planks. But they, this is actually up and running now. I mean, look, look at if you look at the constructions in here, even the linkages. So you've got a linkage from the actual saw blade there, the reciprocator. That runs off a flywheel up here, which obviously that's offset on that beam to make it go backwards and forwards. But even the beam's timber. That's a timber beam in there. No, no metal and steel in here. Amazing. That used to be the good old days, eh? Knife sharpener. Let's see if we can get some manpower on here, look. You've got to get it in the stroke with your foot as it goes over the cam. Keep the momentum going. 
Sharpen all your tools up. Knives, chisels. Simple. So simple, it done the job. Grim Reaper left his scythe behind. As long as he's not here with it, we'll be all right. Ugh. You want a fancy cup of tea? I think I just missed him. There's a robin in, in the trees there, hopping in and out. I think he's gone. There's another nice bit of kit, look. Drag saw. Petrol engine pad. Beautiful. I love all this old stuff. It's just to give you something different from looking at piles of scrap. While I'm up here, I thought I'd make this little video. Proper engineering, this is. This is proper old engineering. The old bluebells are just coming to their end now. It's coming to the end of the season. Yeah, I'll pan back. That's the old toll house from the, down at uh, Little Hampton. There used to be a there was an old iron swing bridge there, and it was the main road in and out of the town. And that was the old toll house when they uh, they took the bridge out. I remember when they took the bridge out and they cut it all up for scrap. That, uh, that would have been all probably back early 80s. Um, but they moved the old toll house and took it away for preservation. So yeah, this has actually been a good opportunity for me to... Uh, you're not seeing me walking around the streets of a town or a city anywhere. I've got a much nicer setting. I thought I'd just give you a look around. I say I volunteer at this museum. Um, they, you know, all sorts of old vehicles, preservation, everything else. If I pan around now, look. I stood in front of the old, this is the old firehouse. The old fire station, vintage fire engines. But yeah, it makes a change for you, rather than staring at me, wandering along, and roaming around the street. So, but yeah, we're heading towards, last time I looked, I'm only probably... Thought it went up and down a bit, but I think I'm about three or four subscribers off of the 300 now, so that jumped up the last 100 very quickly. So, thanks everybody that's new and that's subscribed, uh, much appreciated. Um, appreciate everybody that comes in and that follows. Uh, this is just something a bit different. It's normally they're scrap videos that I'm doing, that's per, per, primarily what the channel is, but I do do the steam engines and preservation as well. So, I thought, well, while I'm here, I'll uh. I'll give you a look round. Now I want that in my back garden. Pint of milk anyone? God, the days when we had a milkman. Right, well that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Something a bit different this time. Uh, I love my preservation and all my old historical stuff, you know, it's, it's disappearing fast. And as much as we're all we're all scrappers and scrap men, some things you just it's just you, it's criminal to cut them up. You just can't scrap something. So yeah, it's a bit of a different setting for you. Something different for me. It's give you a bit of content to look at. And uh, yeah, this is something else I do volunteering. I say with the COVID and all that, we've not been able able to come up here for a long time. So I've been up today. I've done my health and safety induction course um, for the volunteers so for me yeah if you like this video if you haven't already like share subscribe um, if it's your kind of thing we try and do a bit more of this now things are opening up a bit we'll get the old steam roller back out and we we'll do a few more um, historical and restoration videos with a bit better weather and you know you can get out and you can do stuff so but yeah it's 
to something different gives you a look around but so for now thanks for watching um appreciate everyone of you that subscribe to me follow me always appreciate your comments don't forget to leave us a thumbs up um a lot of people will watch the videos and then uh, forget about it but it gives me an idea that uh, i might be doing something right or wrong so yeah so from me and my shed that's it for now and we we're going to say take care bye for now from scrapyard mark and his shed on wheels